Hello, Hector Brenes here with the Cisco Data Center Routing and Switching Team. In this video, I want to show you how to configure and verify a one-ray two-color egress policing on a Nexus Cloud scale. In this example, we will use a top-of-rack switch, but this is also applicable for FX, FX2, FX3, GX, and GX2 switch families. First, we must make sure that the proper TCAM region is carved for egress QS. This is not configured by default. We can review this by typing the CLI, show hardware access list TCAM region. Here, we can see that the egress layer 3 VLAN QS region has no allocation. Therefore, we must take resources from a different region to allocate to egress QoS. In this particular case, we can take, for example, from the egress Rackle region, a 512 slice to allocate to egress QoS. For a full explanation on TCAM carving, you can also refer to the video Nexus 9000 TCAM carving under video.cisco.com. If the TCAM allocation is not performed, then attaching the service policy to the interface will error out as seen here. If the configuration was applied in some way that bypassed this check, let's say by applying the service policy to the interface via startup scripts or upgrading from an older code that did not perform this check, then two things will occur. Number one, the egress policy will not work. Number two, if the interface is reinitialized, it will go into an error disabled state. This is seen both under the interface itself and also logged as an error on the login log as seen here. To recover, the service policy would need to be removed and the interface would need to be bounced. As you can see here, simply removing the service policy is insufficient as it will remain in error disabled state until it is manually flapped. In this TCAM configuration example, we are first taking resources from the egress rack region, which has an initial allocation of 1,792 and lower it down to 1,280. This will free up 512 TCAM resources to allocate to the egress layer 3 VLAN QoS region. Notice the warning displayed after each reallocation. The TCAM reconfiguration requires a reload to apply. Once the switch is back online, we can verify the allocation and we can begin to perform the egress policing configuration. We need to define a policy map type QoS. In this case, we're calling it egress policing PM. Within this policy map context, we're going to define the type QS class maps to which policing will apply. In this example, we are applying it to all traffic, and since we're not performing any classification, it will all be associated with the default class map. Now notice that we are on the policy map class map QS subcontext. Here is where we will be configuring policing. In this example, we will configure a commit input rate of 500 megabits per second with a committed burst rate of 200 milliseconds. All traffic that conform to this policy will be transmitted and all that violated will be dropped. The policy map is not currently attached to a service policy and thus it is not currently active. In this example, we have an active interface transmitting one gig of traffic outbound. Now, we will go into the egress interface where we want to police the traffic. Under this interface, we will configure the service policy type QS on the output direction, meaning on egress, and reference the policy map that we just created. 
This would be the full one ray two color egress policing configuration. We can then verify the rate directly on the interface statistics. And we can also see the policy map applied to the interface, which shows the confirmed traffic that was transmitted and the violated traffic that was dropped. In this example, the switch is receiving on ingress a 1 gig flow which is being policed to 500 megs on egress and therefore violating the commit input rate defined and is being dropped as designed. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for your time.